well now to a proposed project that we've been following for months. Residents have three routes now to choose from for the proposed Highway 68 project. TxDOT releasing that new information. And again, one of those roadways will ultimately impact residents living along its path. Our Carolina Cruz joins us live tonight with a closer look at those proposed routes. Carolina. The top three options were narrowed down from nine different planned routes. TxDOT spokesperson Octavio Sainz so they took into consideration how much of an impact the various communities will experience. Here's a look at the three proposed routes as of now. As you can see, all the routes cut through housing property. In a previous TxDOT meeting back in March, 40% of those who left comments expressed concern for Highway 68. Realtor, Realtor Betty Gaston says she understands that not everyone will be pleased with the final decision, but she says that she does want to see a route that will at least affect home, homeowners. We need an emergency exit. We need, you know, our traffic is increasing. Uh, we can't please everybody, uh, but we need to try to find the best route, like I said, uh, that has the least impact on people who live, especially out in the country. They have their home. It's very, it's a treasure to them. Uh, maybe some of them have lived there a long time, and so it's very upsetting. Uh, to them to have uh, the road go right through their home. Octavio says the valley needs this highway with the growing population in Hidalgo County. He says over the last 10 years, the county has seen a growth of over 27%. If you received a notice in the mail about the route and you missed the meeting today, this is a location you can go to. It's the project office. You can leave your comments there. You have 30 days to do so after today. Texas will pick one route this summer. That's when the last and next public meeting will be held. In the studio, Carolina Cruz, Channel 5 News at 10.